Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Farhan Elias, lecturer in English, Kumila Victoria Government College, Kumila. Dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well. Now, I, I am giving you a dis description about preposition which is designed in your second paper, in your second paper. Uh, in question number two, you will get this question. Uh, you have five uh, marks five and you will get ten blanks in your question. So, now at first you have to know about preposition for preposition what is preposition dear students a preposition is a word which shows relationships among other words in the sentence the relationships may include direction place time cause manner and amount so dear students now i'll give you some examples you see here she went to the store it indicates direction came by bus it, di it directs manner they will be here at 3 o'clock it indicates time it is under the table and it indicates place so what do you see here the underlining verse to by at under these four are prepositions so i i am giving you some important prepositions which are very important for your hsc examinations uh, for example on at in above over up down into through across from towards to between among into by before after etc you have main prepositions you will get and you appropriate prepositions are very important for you dear students actually these prepositions are used in the sentences according to the direction place time cause manner and amount dear students uh, you have on at in on says before date at says before time in says before we are month for example i'll attend the meeting on monday at 3 pm again another example you will get you see he came here in 1999 so what do you see you see on says before date or day at says before time and in says before year so see dear students it's very easy for you again i'll show you a circle please look at the circle above over on outside of the circle and uh, inside of the circle there are 
five prepositions at in and another preposition set into through across and you see you can see uh, in the left side of the circle up and down and in the right side you can see b set actually b set means uh, do you, you know the meaning of the of these words and already i have mentioned the meaning in bengali in this picture you can see so now i am discussing you about these verbs above over on uh, the meaning of these three verbs is same but these three verbs sees in different places uh, you can see the examples uh, the fan is above my head in the next example you can see the cat jumped over the wall and in the another one you can see the pen is on the table so what do you see you see you can see on on the table so the pen is on the table uh, the pen is actually is in the touching position of the on the table then over the cat jumped over the wall actually you can see that the cat is not in the touching position with the wall and there is motion so over says in the position where there is no touching situation and there is a motion situation so there you can use over ever in the next one ever you also you will also find that there is not touching position and not change the place the fan actually is not changing its place but the cat in the another example you can see the cat is changing its position the cat has changed its position another preposition at or in in the examples you can uh, see he lives at kumilla in bangladesh in another one you can say he lives in kumilla so what do you say you see that when kumilla and bangladesh uh, use in this sentence at that moment before the small place at is used and before the big press in is used uh i think you have understood then the next one i mention you about into through across the meaning are actually same but in the example you can see that uh, num- in the number 1 example you can see the boy entered into the room the boy went through the forest the boy ran across the field there are another prepositions from towards to Uh, at the very first one in the example you can see have come from kumilla 
from is used here for its meaning and then i'm going to its college i'm going to college so what do you see towards and to meaning is same but the sense is not same here when towards is used then you have to realize that it's not specified but when to is used then you have to think about the specific situation between among Uh, number one example in number one example there is divide the mangoes between tina and mina in the another one the example is divide the mangoes among the boys so what what's happened here here actually Tina and Mina are two persons but among the boys that that indicates the, that this indicates that there are more than two persons and the prepositions in into the students are in the classroom the students are entered into the classroom what happened here dear students here in is used actually uh, into here in is used when the students are in the static position but when entered into the classroom is used then at that moment you can see the students are in the motion so you can understand that is used in the static situation and into is used in the motion situation and the prepositions in by be for after he will come back in a week he will come back by 5 pm he is coming after 6 months so what's happened here dear students here in is used when past period in future indicates by is used when before specific times and after is used in the past period or the past tense that's all dear students for today this is the actually this is the short sketch of preposition or how we will take your preparation in short times this is the way actually this is the way to take your preparation um 
available you will take the preparation from the appropriate prepositions because appropriate prepositions are most important for you but appropriate preposition you have to total memorize memorization there is no alternative of memorization in the case of appropriate preposition so these are the shortcut rules of prepositions that's all for today you will be safe i hope you will be safe at home stay home and be safe best of luck goodbye